Oh, my lord! It's good to see you whole. I'd half expected to encounter your ghost in a place like this. Hoped, really. Not to cast a pull on the good news, but I'd given quite a bit of thought to your tomb. The ancients would have envied it. Welcome to Yavin 4, my lord. Oh, this is not the first time you've been here, I know. Nor will it be the last, I'm sure. A lifetime of knowledge is buried on this world. Echoes of the ancient alchemy of Naga Sadao? Oh, or possibly the man himself. They say his ghost still dwells on this world. Perhaps you're even feeling the very thing I'm researching. Could it be calling to you? Wouldn't that be something? I came to Yavin 4 to study the mechanisms of the Temple of Sacrifice. Your strike team was quite thorough disabling it, but portions are still woven throughout the area. My theory is this ancient piece of technology may share traits with others built by the Sith Emperor. Spot on, my lord. What little has been revealed about Zekul indicates that their eternal fleet is attuned directly to their Emperor's will. The Temple of Sacrifice seemed attuned to our former Emperor in a similar way. If you'd help me exhume a few samples, we could take them for analysis. That's the spirit. Here are the locations we should search. I'll be right behind you. Ha! Just like old times. I haven't been chased by marauding life forms on an expedition since you disappeared. Quite missed the thrill of it. We couldn't have done it without you, my lord. This should be everything I need. Commander, I wanted to share my gratitude over your recent recruitment of Talos Drelic and commend your insight. In truth, we have sorely needed an individual more specialized in ancient knowledge and the more force-oriented technologies. Sadly, my genius lies elsewhere, and as these types of technologies form the foundation of so much within the Eternal Empire, it has been a consistent stumbling block for us. However, Dr. Drellick's insights have already started to break down these barriers to our progress, and I delight to imagine the inevitable breakthroughs that will soon follow. In fact, he was just speaking to me about the thesis for his doctorate, an in-depth analysis of an ancient race known as the Dashad. Fascinating work. Apparently, these creatures could siphon and consume Force Essence. Imagine what might result if the mechanisms behind this ability could be properly researched and understood. Could we create some sort of fixed or even portable biotechnological platform? Some sort of force dampening or consuming field, or perhaps an explosive or warhead-like delivery platform? The possibilities. So myriad it is dizzying. I... I must be alone with my thoughts. Such inspiration must be captured.